Sup y'all, please like and follow if you want to see more of these tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how I made this. First, I started with this mold. And then I also started with these Disney adorable figurines. Um, one, uh, two of them are from Toy Story 4 and I, I had to rewatch the movie in order to figure out the context of the little bird dude. Um, and I decided I wanted to pay homage to this carousel as seen in, well, a great deal of the movie. So here is my thumbnail sketch. Um, I was planning on casting the resin clear and putting a painting on the inside of it and then painting the wallpaper from the first movie. And then there is a lot of gold and antique stuff in like Toy Story 4. And I really like that theme, aging toys, because antiques are rad. So um, first I made my painting and I poured it clear on the inside of this, uh, this mold. And then I used UV resin on the outside and made sort of a tacky layer to attach this foil to, to make the windows from my sketch previously. Now, originally I did use a silicone brush to apply the UV resin and I used my UV light to partially cure it. You don't want to fully cure it because you want this UV resin to be somewhat tacky. You also want your main form to be fully cured. And I'm talking about the full three days. Otherwise, your foil is going to stick to the regular resin. You only want it to stick to the UV resin. Um, so that way you can just take a dry paper towel and a paintbrush and just remove the excess foil from your windows here. Now definitely be prepared to get this foil all over the house. My cats decided to roll in it and it got everywhere. Now, I decided to go with the with the traditional play school colors uh, because there are a lot of toys in the in in the movies that are just the standard red, blue, or yellow. I decided to go with the I decided to just decorate the carousel part like Woody's clothes um, because I feel I felt like it would be the best way for these characters to show up against the background. Um, you're going to want to put a clear coat on this. Uh, the red paint really runs with the resin, so I use clear instant dry nail polish to preserve that paint and prevent, prevent it from just dripping everywhere when the resin is curing. You're also going to want to put a resin coat on the inside of anything, just anything that you've painted, you're going to want a coat of resin on there because that paint will flake up and it will run if, uh, if you don't put a protective coating over it. Um, I spent most of the night spooning this resin on top. Um, if you're going to put a resin coat on, I would definitely wait for your resin to gain sort of a honey-like consistency. If your resin cures really quickly after it reaches that consistency, then go with a smoother consistency. Um, this is this is what it looks like after both coats are put on. Like I put two coats of resin on this to make sure that it that the, the bubble stays attached to the base, and then. I used a blunted craft syringe a little bit, and I'm, I'm talking a little bit. You don't want to use a lot of glycerin in the water, otherwise it's going to create foam and a filmy coat on the inside of your, on the inside of your globe. Uh, this took about 10 minutes to fill. I sped this up quite a lot, but I, I really like watching the filling portion of this. Um, you're going to want to give this a good shake after you fill in it to, it, filled it to release any bubbles. Here is the sketch again, and then here's the finished project. I made this one for one of my nieces. She loves Toy Story. I think it turned out really great. Um, it's a great series. I wanted to do it justice, and I feel like this is one of the best of the snow globes that I made. I think this one turned out the best. Um, there is some resin drippage here. Don't worry about that. I think the most important thing is that my niece is going to have a marvelous handmade gift. 